In this battle, we're going to take a look at morale. There are some pretty cool things about morale in Total War Warhammer. Well, you can uh, you can check the morale of units in real time. Uh, most of you have probably already noticed this. That when you mouse over the morale bar of a unit, you can see all of the all of the positive and negative modifiers resulting in the total leadership value of the unit so for us like the slaughter for example his base value is 72 and flank sh flank secure gives him leadership a bonus of five for the savage orc vegans the base value is 65 flank secure leadership value of five makes that leadership value of 70 in total and this applies across the board these modifiers ap uh, apply across the board for for all units but there are some other special modifiers that we'll take a look at now so i'm going to fire at this fire at the zombie unit with my goblin rock lover there we go the zombies have taken a bit of damage let's have them take a bit more damage If I can actually hit the damn things. Okay, so if I look at the look at the morale of the zombies now, they have a leadership of uh, of thirty eight, flank secure, lord nearby three for a total of thirty eight. Let's see here. The care wraiths are taking fire. They have a leadership value of forty, flank secure, all good stuff. They are very happy. Now let's have a look at the zombies now. Suddenly their leadership dropped to, to 24. If you mouse over it, they are losing the combat. They are not in combat, but they are... Because they are kind of engaged with the artillery, they are losing minus 8, damage sustained minus 6. So although they, they're they not really fighting yet, they their leadership is going down. And let's have a look at the leadership now. It's down to 18. Damage sustained, minus 10, losing currently, minus 8. If we also fire on the zombies, let's have a look at the leadership value of the zombies now. Down to 12. Damage sustained, minus 16, losing currently, minus 8. If we look at the goblins here, the goblins are now attacked by a terror-causing unit, or fear-causing unit. So, let's see, have a look at the goblins. Frightened by enemy units, minus 10, winning current combat, that's because they damaged the zombies with their missiles, so they're getting 8 bonus, they're getting 5 for having flag secure, and 3 for having the lord nearby. The lord, him, as like the slaughter himself, is terror causing, so he does not fear other terror or fear causing units, even though he isn't immune to psychology. The savage orc begins are immune to psychology, let's see here. Immune to psychology, which means they don't fear units that uh, cause fear or terror. Whereas these goblins, they fear units that cause fear or terror. So they are getting the penalty of, let's see here, 10. So you can see that although you keep the lord nearby, it only gives you a bonus of 3. But if flanks are secure, that gives you a bonus of 5. Uh, but fearing an enemy unit is going to give you a net effect of minus 2. On your base value. Now, if if a unit was to be flanked by a fair causing unit, then things would look a lot different. So I'm going to try to turn around a unit of goblins uh, to make it attacked in the rear, like so. Here we go, getting attacked in the rear by a fair causing unit. You can see the leadership drops down to my 19. Attacked in the rear, minus 14, frightened by enemy units, minus 10, flags exposed, minus 6, fence routing, minus 3. <laughs> which gives uh, which gives a net leadership of 19. Now, the, the total negative modifiers here are 20, uh, 30, 33 minus, just because I turned the unit around, and just because 
there are friendly units routing. Whereas the Savage Orc Megans, they don't fare anything, but they get a minus 6 for having units rout routing around them. So even though they are immune to psychology, they are not immune to the effects of having multiple units routing around them. Let's send in the Black Orcs and see what happens. So the Black Orcs are charging in. They got an increase to their morale. Let's see here. Because they are charging, they get an increase of 15, which is quite significant. So getting a charge in, if a unit, if, if, if a low leadership unit is about to break, getting a charge in might tip them over the edge. They become braver when they charge. Uh, no, but the Black Orc leadership now has dropped significantly, and I wonder why. Well, friends routing, minus 12. Uh, they got damaged by artillery because they took some friendly fire. Currently losing damage sustained, minus 8. Exposed flanks, minus 3. So all of a sudden, the leadership drops down to less than half of what it was. So leadership uh, is rapidly responding to changes on the battlefield. And if you wonder what happens, like you can see the leadership bars here, if you wonder what happens uh, as you're playing campaign or if you're watching if you're watching replays, like what, why did that unit break? Then you could just check the leadership here. Damage sustained, minus 25. Friends routing, minus 6. Attacked in flank, minus 3. Losing currently, minus 3. And you can always see the, the results here of 33. But if you wonder why it's 33, then you could just mouse, mouse over the leadership. And you can see exactly what's affecting the unit at any given moment in time. So I think that was pretty cool. And using that knowledge, you can, you can take measures to increase... Uh, to increase the leadership value of a unit. So, for example, making sure its flanks are protected, making sure it doesn't take friendly fire, uh, having the lore nearby. But as you can see, the negative modifiers are much more significant than the positive modifiers. So having the lore nearby is a much smaller modifier than having a fair causing unit nearby, for example. But you can, there's a, also a positive modifier for having enemy units routing. So... <laughs> There is a certain trade-off between having cheap units for blocking charges and such, and the negative effects those units have uh, on your your army as a whole. And that's one of the reasons why why uh, elite units are used so much in, in Total War Warhammer elite monsters because they will allow you to win combat. They will allow you to break enemy units. Uh, they won't incur negative modifiers on yourself and having fair causing units that quickly run in and win battles or win engagements will again give you more positive modifiers and the enemy more negative modifiers. So you'll notice that the kills on average on on the battle results screen are lower for Total War Warhammer and one of the reasons is because the well aside from the fact that there are monster units with fewer men per unit uh, it's because of the morale morale modifiers, the leadership modifiers. They can be very quickly, they can very quickly be shifted towards the negative, and then you will have entire armies out of the field. So uh, let's just have a look at some of the heftier modifiers because the way I'm engaging here, I'm not really microing anything. I'm probably going to lose quite heavily. So let's see. The balance of power should start shifting against me fairly soon. Uh, and we'll have a look at the leadership of my lord as that happens. Uh, of uh, leadership of Asag. Friends routing, minus nine. Flanks exposed. Flanks exposed. No friends routing at the moment. And uh, as most of the army runs away, we should get the army destruction penalty pretty soon. Do we have it? No, we don't have it already. Just want to make sure. There we go. Okay. Leadership minus 57. Army losses minus 120. So you can see most, most morale uh, tops out at 100 aside from unbreakable units so once you get that mod minus 120 leadership modifier then you just trade chain route 
So hopefully that was useful. It's been very useful to me to look at these uh, these morale modifiers. And it's really cool that we can watch them in real time and have a look at exactly which modifiers are affecting which units. Strength and order. <laughs>